It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all probably thought I was gonna miss today, but I'm not. I'm home as you can see. I'm back in the crib. I'm chilling. First off, shout out to everybody who streamed Learn to Love. Shout out everybody who hit me up and taught me how they fit and, 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 and told me how they feel about the project. That is much appreciated. I need that feedback. That's how I know where to go next. You know what I mean? So, shout out to everybody who listened to the new album. Shout out everybody who watched the new music video. If you haven't watched it, check it out for me, please. You feel me? I need that video to get the same love as the other ones. You know what I mean? But I know since the, the album dropped and the music video dropped, like, you know, same day, it's kind of like, eh. I maybe should have waited to drop the video, what I'm thinking, but either way, it's too late now. I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, it's out now. Go check out both. If you haven't checked out either one, you feel me? And I highly appreciate it. But I just wanted to get something off my chest, right? So certain stuff that people say just always stick with me, all right? So, I remember this one guy commenting and he was like, if your music doesn't get plays, that means it's trash, right? Now, you could say that, but being in deep the way I am, I know that that's bullshit. <laughs> That is bullshit. <laughs> Literally, that is bullshit. Like, just because you don't get plays, that don't mean your music is whack. I'm gonna tell you that now. That is complete bullshit. And the, the mindset behind that is dumb as hell. Like, I wish I could like have a debate with the, the dude who said this. Like, he commented on a video like a long time ago. And it wasn't even in regards to me. It was just like in general. He was just saying like, if you don't get plays, then it just mean your music is whack. And that is not the case, bro. It's, it's way deeper than that, bro. Like, I know dope ass artists, bro. I'm talking about fire. Independent artists. You probably never heard of them. Some of them in uh, out here in North Carolina with me. Some of them back in New York where I'm from. You know what I mean? I know a lot of independent artists who are dope as fuck. You feel me? I'm talking about dope as fuck. They make music better than like 90% of the mainstream artists. But the only difference is the exposure. Like, you can literally be forced to like shit. You feel me? That's what the radio is for. That's what uh facebook is for instagram youtube they can like they determine what you see whether you want to believe it or not like they determine what you see you know what i mean they determine what you see they flood the radios the radio with all the songs they want you to hear they flood your timeline with all the ads they want you to see right now we know how the ad thing works the more money you put into it, the more your ad is seen, right? That's how it works. So you got these billion dollar companies funding these artists, which is cool, you feel me? But they can kind of manipulate, you know what I mean? They can force you to like stuff, right? So you got someone like me who, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it out the dirt, bro. I'm doing it all on my own, working my way up, you feel me? I don't complain about nothing. I don't feel like I was dealt a bad hand. I feel like I was dealt the hand that I was supposed to have and I gotta, you know, I gotta work my moves, you feel me? So I'm gonna get to where I wanna go regardless. I don't care. I don't feel like nothing is gonna stop me. I don't feel like I wish I grew up here. I wish I knew this person. I, I don't care about none of that. I feel like everything happened for a reason and I'm on the right path, right? But someone like me, I don't have a ton of money, right? I don't have millions of dollars to put into like ad campaigns and uh radio spin like you know like all the stuff that these record labels do right 
So for someone to say, oh, your music don't got no plays because it's whack. It's like, first of all, you know how many popping artists out here who are complete trash in my opinion? You know what I mean? Like, it's some whack ass artists out here, bro, that have millions of followers who have, you know, X amount of dollars who got a whole bunch of people following them and me and you listen to their music and be like, bro, this shit not even really that good, bro. I don't even get why so many people like this dude or this girl, you know what I mean? And it's like, niggas are being forced. Like, whether they want to believe it or not. You ever been listening to a song with somebody, right? And y'all be like, you be like, damn, this shit whack. And then it'd be like one or two people out the group and they'd be like, this shit kind of hot. It's always one or two people that be like, this shit kind of hot. Everybody could be like, this shit whack. And then it's that one, that one or one, or, it's one or two people that be like, Man, this shit kind of hot. I don't know what you talking about. It always happens like that. You feel me? So this why I stop even judging people off their music. You know what I mean? I don't even tell people their music is whack. I really don't. But I mean, make what you want. But my advice is to make it the best quality as possible you know what i mean now if your mix sound terrible if your vocals sound distorted that's what irks me bro it's like i don't care what you make just make it sound good don't be you know what i mean we ain't got to get into the uh are you lyrical this that that i don't really care about that no more because i'm gonna make the type of music i like to make and the people who like that they're gonna rock with me regardless and same goes for you but for 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 there to be people out here who feel like numbers validate skill that shit irks me like just because i don't have a million subscribers or i don't have a record deal or i don't have a million followers on instagram or i don't have uh a hundred million plays on a song on spotify or a million like just because i don't have these things don't make don't mean it makes me less of an artist like i'm dope as fuck and i know it <laughs> like do y'all really want to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm down for the for all challenges. You know what I mean? Like, do you really want to rap with me? You feel me? Like, and I'm not cocky at all. I'm very confident in myself. And I can rap my ass off. I can write my ass off. I can produce my, like, what are we talking about? Numbers don't validate skill. I know people, I literally know artists who don't care about being like successful. They just do music because they love music, right? So you're trying to tell me that because they don't want to be successful that their music is whack? Hell no. They spend just as much time as me making music and perfecting their music, but they just don't care for the, the they don't want to play the, the little games, you know, the little industry games and shit. They don't really care for it and I, I respect it. But them niggas is dope as fuck. You feel me? Like, they inspire. Like, I got people like that who inspire me. So, for people to come on, come on here and be like, if you don't get plays, you whack and all that. That shit is not true. I know some dope ass artists who don't get the numbers that I feel they should get. And it's straight like that. It's some dope ass artists out here. You know what I mean? And maybe one day y'all catch on. And another thing is, yeah, everybody want to be a follower. You feel me? So, me personally, I like to find artists before everybody else. You know what I mean? I start supporting them early on. I start rocking with them early on. You feel me? I, I've always did it. I was listening to Tory Lanez before everybody else. I was listening to J. Cole. I was listening to King Lowe's. I was listening to... The list goes on. You feel me? So, it's like, let's be real, bro. I've been... You feel me? Like, I, I live it. You know what I mean? So I hate when people be like, ah, you don't get plays because your music is whack. Bullshit, whatever. That's all I wanted to talk about though. Like, don't, don't listen to that. Don't, don't listen to people like that. People like that don't know what they talking about. It's way deeper than that, bro. And a lot of people are like manipulating numbers these days. Nigga, you got niggas buying plays. You got niggas buying followers, buying subscribers. You got niggas buying, uh, all kind of shit, man. You got niggas buying nigga, Nick, you can buy anything online, bro. You wanna you want a million subscribers? You probably go buy it right now. You want a million you know what I mean? But what what what, what is it really worth? 
If I get a million subscribers tomorrow, do that mean that my music is good? No. Do it mean my music is trash? No. No. The numbers don't validate skill or talent. It just don't. If you got it, you got it. And I got it. You feel me? That's it. That's all. Look, man, we keep growing. We keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah.